name's Corey Bradshaw from the Environment Institute at the University of Adelaide. Um, working with uh, Bill Lawrence on a paper called Averting Biodiversity Collapse in uh, Tropical Protected Areas. And the basic idea of the paper is that, you know, we live in this era, uh, era of incredible destruction and degradation of tropical forests. And it's becoming increasingly obvious that a real cornerstone for our future efforts to conserve nature are going to be protected areas. And so a key question is, are the protected areas working? Are they really protecting nature? Are they protecting biodiversity? Or are they suffering from other kinds of ills, perhaps as the environments around them, the habitats and forests around them are increasingly being modified? So really that was the motivation behind this paper, was to try to ask in a critical way, if we look at protected areas around the world's tropical regions, are they really working? I guess the, the real surprise, if you want to call it a surprise, in inverted commas, was just how much the outside of the park influence the inside of the park, regardless of the size of the park. The importance of these outside forces manifests itself in a couple of different ways. One is, Corey said, uh, you know, you're changing the, the park, you're fragmenting the park, you're turning it into an island, there's edge effects, there's spillover effects, there's all kinds of things happening. But also what you see in a more general level is that the threats outside have a very strong tendency to leak into the ins insides of the parks. The key message here is that there's this, going to be this eternal external threat around these protected areas and we cannot, if we ignore that, we do so at our peril. <laughs>